Hi, this is Jim Lowell. Welcome to 54 Redtail here in beautiful Sun City. We're looking at the front of the house. And as we look down the street deeper, it is a cul-de-sac at the end of that street. So it is not a through street. As I pan over, this is what you see across the street. And then down the street where I came in. Very nice landscaping needs to be shored up, trimmed up, but the basics are here. Nice crepe myrtle over in the corner. Love these palm trees in the front. This one going up. The exterior is hard coat stucco. It's supposed to be getting a roof put on here this month in August. This particular dogwood model has a front porch not all of them do, but this one does. Just a little front porch, but it's a front porch. As we walk in, storm door right here. It's a little tired. And then a full solid door here. The glass door would be a nice replacement. These dogwood models are wonderful. They're huge. So as we look ahead, um, that's the living area. And square footage is just under 2,400. But one of the things I always point out about dogwoods is this entryway is very wide. So you're not constricting in or being squeezed out when you're leaving. So straight ahead, we see the living area. Then that door is for the primary bedroom. This hallway is the second bedroom and full bath. This is the den with glass doors rotating over. There's your separate dining area, peninsula for the kitchen. Through that is the breakfast eat-in area. And then down this way is a butler's pantry. To the left is the laundry room and garage. So with that, I'm going to start in the den immediately to the right when you walk in. Typical size den, needs new flooring, has all blue carpet and short baseboards that can be updated. This house, like many in Sun City, has these textured walls. And this one in particular has the popcorn ceilings throughout. Plantation shutters in the front, they're plastic. Nice touch, ceiling fan. So walking out of here again, this is the main cog here of the living area. So that's the den, again, the glass doors are very nice. We'll go down this way. On the right is a coat closet. On the left is a linen closet. This is a full bath that serves as a powder room, as well as bath for guests window up there so these side windows like in here in this bathroom take the place of skylights that you see a lot of times in houses so here's the guest bedroom this is pretty good size like the den needs new carpet or needs new flooring baseboards typical sliding closet door uh, another thing you know this house was built in 2003 the exterior screens either need to be removed or clean or repair, replaced, excuse me. The standard floor throughout the house, the living area is a 12 by 12 ceramic tile, which is in great shape. It's very hardy. Uh, one little side note on that is, should you decide to go with a product like luxury vinyl plank, they can actually lay the floors right over these floors. They don't have to pull them all the way up. Again, this is the dining area. Slide above. Let's go over this way. Saving the best for last. It's a butler's pantry, built-in cabinetry. Nice touch. To the immediately left, immediate left, is the laundry room with cabinetry above. No washer and dryer included with this house. Again, plantation shutters and, you know, a window in here, so it's not too cavey. 
and then that's a utility tub. The garage is an extended garage, so it's long. The width is standard, but it is a longer garage. There's big aluminum things there, or metal things, or uh, hurricane shutters. Again, there's a window in here, and they put plantation shutters in here. Having a tree up here, but it's, again, getting deep here, and then the hot water heater is here. Um, pull downstairs to the attic, which is partially floored. I stuck my head up earlier. And the floor, it was an epoxy, or maybe a do-it-yourselfer, because it's kind of worn, probably used to be done again. So we're coming out. Now we're going to go into the kitchen. But really fast pan back. That's again the living area and office and the hallway to the guest. Here's the kitchen. Small island in the middle, pretty much how they came. Uh, Corian counters. Nice maple cabinets. Could use some hardware. Since they are wood, could be painted. If you didn't like the dark or if you just wanted a different shade. No pull out shelving below. So all the way around. Um, appliances are white. Microwave looks original. Stove looks original. I think they all may be. The refrigerator may be newer since it's Whirlpool where everything else is GE. In Corian stove area or sink area. I think my name's mixed up. It does have water going to the fridge. And then this would be the pantry. But again, with this model, the dogwood and this separate area here, this can store some stuff for the pantry, as well as there's options in this laundry room for you know oversized pots, pans, that kind of thing that you normally put in the pantry. So straight out the back, this is the breakfast nook area. And great access to this outside space. So this door here is an original door, operates okay. Same tile again runs out through here. So if this works, it's a nice feature because the only difference you have in flooring is the bedrooms. Everything else is the same tile. So this is an all season area. I did not adjust anything and it's very comfortable in here on a very warm day. It's being cooled by the Mitsubishi mini split above. And all of these are glass windows. You see a lot of plastic in Sun City in these spaces, but not this one. And then there's a door here. Not to the paper patio, as you can see. There's definitely a root, assuming from that tree, that needs to be addressed. Probably the tree as well. I think it's a river birch. Um, the tree's probably gonna die if you cut the root out, but but very serene backyard. Um, irrigation throughout, very private. Nothing's gonna build back there. Just a very nice area. You're gonna have a lot of deer come and visit, but that's not so bad. So coming back in. I'm going to go over this way. So notice these dogwoods, when they're done this way, these, these two sliders are huge. And actually, when I came in, this door was open. It wasn't even slid shut. So it's, it works really well with that mini split and the rest of the system in the house. Panning over, again, this is the primary bedroom. And again, needs new flooring, does have the plantation shutters. So paint and flooring would take care of this. This is the bath and that's the walk-in closet. We'll go there. Pretty good size, two sides. There's access for the attic. This is a linen closet more for the bathroom. And the bathroom 
is separated by those two small doors, which could be replaced maybe by a sliding barn door or something instead of these. Same tile as through the living area. There's the vanity, say hi Jim. Um, again, another window up to the side to give us some natural light. Soaking tub here. And walk-in shower here. However, it's just a short, this me, I'd hit my head on this getting in. But I will share with you, I've seen, actually my mother and father have a dogwood model here in Sun City. And they had someone convert that shower space to a closet for more storage. Then they put a walk-in shower here in this space. It turned out very nice. Many people don't care for the tubs. So that is basically it for this home. Again, just under 2,400 square feet. It's two bedrooms, two full baths with a den and asking price on it is five, $510,000. I think it just recently dropped. Um, new roof going in 2023. Other than that, I don't have any disclosure information as it is an estate sale. So the, inspect the inspector would have to guide on age of some other things. But um, overall, good bones, nice model, big living area. This is Jim Lowell, Dunes Real Estate. Thank you.